Hey there friends of video game fans, Head got shanked here, and today we are going to kill the brigand 16 pounder. Now for this task I have brought along a Vestal, my healer. And uh, so she is going to be handling the, oh god, excuse me, the classic role of healing today. I'm just going to do another take. He likes video games. Great men like video games. Hey there friends and video game fans, Head got shanked here, and uh, today we're playing Darkest Dungeon and we're gonna finally get around to killing the Brigand 16 Pounder. Now, uh, for this task I've brought along a Vestal. She is going to be healing, just like, uh, you know, nothing fancy, just healing. And then I've got damage dealers out the butt. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the cannon itself is immune to debuffs, uh, but I am going to be using marks today. In fact, I want to do that. Actually, mm, yes. Caltrops instead of come hither. Actually, come hither probably be better than caltrops for this particular fight, uh, for the boss fight at least. Yeah, I might want caltrops. Uh, during the actual adventure, but in the boss fight, I will switch over from Caltrops to Come Hither, and hopefully I don't forget. And the reason for that being just so that, um, because I think Come Hither has a better base damage. Let me just see here. So this is damage mod minus 90, and this is damage mod minus 67 so it's actually not that much better but uh, flashbang might be good unfortunately I don't know if the match bearer actually has decent stun resist or if he doesn't okay so since this is a classic uh, healer party I'm just gonna be doing this by the book Oh shoot, she should have Iron Swan. Oh shit. God damn it. I don't have any uh, stress healing except for this guy, but... By now, you guys all probably know how I feel about the Houndmaster as a stress healer. So... Oh, they've all got a pretty decent stun resist. Should be able to get them, though. Uh, so anyway, since I lack any really good stu uh, stress healing, I'm going to be focusing any stress nukers first. And look at this. Ah, uh, well, that's just good luck. And that's just... Poor luck. Okay, but let's see. Hounds Harry might... Nope. How much bleed do we do? Two points. God, that is weak. That's at level five. Two points of bleed. Weak. Okay. I care more about killing enemies than uh, removing bleed at this particular point. So I shouldn't have any problem finishing them off here. Shit. I said I shouldn't have any problem finishing him off here. Oh boy. There we go. 
Yeah, who said I don't have any stress healers, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Calm down. Ah, you piece of shit. Whatever. Let's see if this does anything useful. Hey, it actually did for once. And there we go. A little shaky, but we we finished that without too much problem. Now I'm pretty sure this room up here is going to be where the boss fight occurs, so there's a craving. Mm. Looks like I probably packed too many shovels. So that's a good problem to have. And the collector! Alright, kids. Oh, uh, this will be interesting. Okay, yeah, I am going to go ahead and mark him. It's too bad he doesn't have prot, but let's see. I think I probably want to use a dog treat on this. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, what's his stun resist? 95, so I have a 30% chance to stun him. I am going to take that chance. Stunning him in the first round is really powerful. Okay, and now... I guess we'll just do some healing. Booyah! Oh, I think we're going to kill him pretty easily here. Alright, so... He is human, so this is going to hit him pretty hard. God, that's almost as much damage as I did with my crit. <laughs> oh. Oh, buddy. Wrong hood, bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I wish I had remembered to uh, swap in Iron Swan, but this shouldn't take me too long. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm just going to try and stun one of these guys. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a 30% chance to stun any of them. I'll just go ahead and go for the one in position three. That's good. Just hope I get to act before his evil uh, Vestal. Can I actually kill it? No. Ah, but I could do this. Boom! Ooh, oom. Yeah! I don't know what that was. But there we go. That's my new my new catchphrase, everybody. Boo oo oom. Boom. And uh yeah. So now he's pretty much defenseless, so if I had any stress or any damage, I could take this opportunity to heal it up. There we go. Full health and zero stress after two combats, you guys. And one of them against the collector, no less. Uh, pretty sweet. <laughs> cool. So, that... It's, it's hard to, um... Hard to imagine a fight going better than that. <laughs> cool. Okay, now I just need to decide what to throw away. This... Uh-huh. Now... Right. Um, Iron Swan. I don't want to give up Barbaric Yop just yet. Probably be a good idea to have Barbaric Yop for the boss fight. I'm gonna say Adrenaline Rush, because I'm gonna be racing. And I'm not going to worry if I get dots. Uh, there's not very much of a chance that I'll be dotted in the boss fight. Plenty of chances to get dotted in this fight, though, aren't there? Okay, now. Should be able to finish her off without too much difficulty. There we go. Okay, now if I can just... That's okay. Would have been really sweet to kill two of them before anybody got any moves off, but, you know, oh well. 
Now, does Rent for the Old Gods do extra damage against Marked? Oh, uh, well, I don't remember. Okay, it's only a 65% chance to hit, but I'm gonna take it. There we go. Alright. So, now we're in a really strong position. Uh, this could hardly be better. There we go. And... I'm just gonna do this for now. Ugh. Wasn't hoping for that. But you know, all I all I really need is two rounds of healing. So I'm just gonna do that. I wasn't gonna one-shot him, unless unless I got a an unlucky crit in this case. I've got the bandages to spare, so why not? Let's clean up with a little stress heal. Better than nothing. Uh, you might as well just do this again, because I just want one more round of healing so I can top off the Hound Master there. And if my Vestal happens to get another action, which is really unlikely, I can just do a uh, Divine Comfort and heal up the party. But that's going to end it. So, and that's fine. Okay, Crests. Crests are the most important uh, heirloom for me right now. So, let's see. I am going to eat up these snacks just to keep us topped off. That looks pretty good. Whoa! Oh man. Okay, so let's see here. We'll take the bandages. I'm gonna throw away the antitoxin and pick up as many of these crests as I can get. Okay, looks unlikely that I'm gonna need any keys either, so... We'll just call that good. Maybe, should I go torchless? That's a risk. You know what? If I wasn't already overburdened with treasure, I would go torchless. But, you know, I don't really see any point right now because... I'm just going to get a bunch of treasure that I can't hold. So, I don't... Yeah, that's a waste. Okay, 78% chance. Pretty good hit chance. And... A crit! Well... I was not expecting a one-shot, but yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe we can get another one. Nope, that's okay though. We didn't really need it. Now... Hey. We're down to one enemy after uh, one round of combat, so it's hard to ask for better than that. And of course, though, I do do get blight right after throwing away all my antitoxin, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, now I am going to go torchless because I don't see a better option. That's a lot of gold. Okay. And we're just gonna eat this carcass. Throw away what we don't use. Just like the white settlers. Just use up. Am I tripping? I must be tripping.
Oh. Oh shit, I was not paying attention. That's gonna be the boss fight, so, uh, we need to backtrack. We need to camp. I was not paying attention. Okay, here we go. We're gonna camp. Kill the brigand at uh, 16 pounder. Making camp. Mm -hmm. Man. Oh, it's because of that talon. Okay, well, that's okay. That's cool. You know, we'll probably get hungry uh, between here and here, I'm sure. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Do I have... I'm not gonna bother preventing nighttime ambush because I think we've got more important things to do. First of all, this is how we do it. We gotta sharpen the spear and battle trance. Hell yes. Now, now that that's all out of the way, uh... Let's just... Honestly, I might just do Prey because, um... Nobody else here is religious. But... Uh... 5% prod is better than nothing. And I can't remember if it buffs herself or not, but... I wish I had, uh... Oh no, planned takedown doesn't work against this boss. Okay, so, no, we're good. Uh, let's do Prey. I'm gonna end up with an extra point I can't use either way, so let's just do that. Okay, she doesn't get the prot. That's too bad. But, again, five prot for three out of four characters. That's better than nothing, and I didn't really have anything better to do, so... Here we go. And we're just gonna walk right up here. What was that? Okay. Hey, and we even loot another torch. So we have the option of fighting this boss at 100% light. Let's do that. This should go well. I've got a good feeling, you guys. Here we go. Did I remember to set my abilities. I wanted come hither instead of this, but it's probably not going to be an issue. I think what I am going to do then is, and yeah, he's immune to debuffs, but I am just going to go ahead and mark the cannon. Now, Hmm. We'll just take care of him. Oh, yes. Repost would have been pretty good against this guy. But... You know, as long as... We're able to deal with his adds which is my main strategy here. Uh, I really don't care how long it takes me to destroy the cannon. Okay, so this should be pretty fair damage. Uh, he's got all that prot. But the only thing you can do is chip away and you just gotta let your, your, your uh, just gotta let your guys deal with your adds. Puh. You wanna try that again? Just gotta let your guys deal with the adds. And actually, I don't even care about these two. They're barely doing any damage to me at all. That's weak. That 5% prot might actually be helping me quite a bit right now. Look at that. That was a really weak attack. This is a... This is a veteran dungeon. Um, or level... Level 5. This is level 5. I feel like these guys are... Like, this is... I feel like these enemies are just... Really weak against me right now. Am I just that badass at planning strategies? 
Okay. As long as we don't have any other cravings, I mean, we should be fine. And let's keep on chipping at that cannon. And... I don't want to risk giving him a chance to light it, just in case. You know, because if I happen to... If I decide to just let my last attacker target the match bearer, and then they end up missing, then that's pretty bad. So I should be attacking the match guy as soon as possible. And look, I don't even really need to consider doing any healing. I don't even... These guys are... <laughs> These guys are pretty weak. I am not feeling any pressure at whatsoever right now. And what is that debuff even? Minus dodge. Just don't give a fuck. All he's doing is chipping at me slowly and I'm I'm chipping a little faster. So you know what? Here we got another chance to put a mark down. Let's do an iron swan and take him out. Everybody's got a little bit of prot, which obviously seems to be helping. Uh, the thing about that, a 5% prot doesn't seem like much, but the way the uh, RNG works in this game is it rounds up. It always rounds up to the nearest uh, whole number, so if you have a percentage ending in 5.1, it'll round up to 6. So even if you are getting percentage-wise less than a full point, uh, you will still get at least one point of buff from that. So, I don't know. I, I guess I'll just heal. I don't know. So, from that 5% prot, I know that I am at least getting one extra point of... Uh, or one less point of damage per attack. And this just could not be going better. <laughs> I just don't care about the ads except for the guy with the match. Yeah, I'm going to take this pretty easily, you guys. This is nothing. And, like, what do I... I guess I'll just do two damage against the, the human, the cannon, because... What do I care? I don't. Okay, got a little bleed. So that means I'm probably going to have to do some healing in the next, you know, three or four rounds, if this fight even lasts that long. This is easy. You guys want to beat this boss easily? Do exactly what I did. Bring this party along. Oh no. That's a problem. I did not bring enough blood. Did not think that would be an issue. Okay. I'm just going to do one more judgment on the cannon, and I am going to hope. Oh boy, okay, so now that's a problem. But I've got bandages, so it's really okay. And should I even bother with the mark? Okay, so... Hmm... Mmm, that's not quite enough. Ah, shit. Okay, but... There we go. Okay, now we are going to do a focused heal here. That couldn't have gone better. Chipping away at that old cannon. This is probably the least exciting boss of them all. Okay, uh, I think I can actually pull off a stun on him. I'm just gonna try it. 
And if nothing else, I should be able to chip enough off of him so that my Houndmaster could finish him, but it's not necessary. Okay, yeah, that mark actually was improving my damage pretty significantly. That's interesting. He just did reinforcements, but nothing happened. Hmm. Oh, well, alright. Okay. So this should be it. Hopefully I'll be able to get him some kind of damage on him. Okay, now my Houndmaster will definitely be able to clean that up. There we go. And that's it. Now we just gotta clean up this ad, I believe. Yes, indeed. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> not long at all. Okay, ten rounds. Not my best. Ooh, interesting. There we go. And that's how you kill the Brigand 16-pounder. Not too difficult. And we get one of my favorite trinkets from that, the Fuseman's Matchstick, which I love. Speed, damage, and crit. Uh, stick this onto an Arbalest, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching. My name's Head Got Shanked, and the game is Darkest Dungeon. And have a good night.